Hello, <clears throat> I'm Peter Spilsbury. Um, it's great that you're considering um, applying for a role in the strategy unit. I've been asked to uh, talk about three things which um, which you might find useful as, um, as context for, for making a decision about whether to apply. So the three things, the first is I've been asked to say a little bit about um, why the NHS needs the strategy unit, which is a, an interesting way around to put it. Um, and I think my answer to that is, is probably threefold. The first, which is the most straightforward answer, is that um, over the last decade, we've built a team um, that has the skills and the expertise and the commitment to be able to address some of the most enduring challenges that the NHS and its partners face um, in providing healthcare and in and in delivering the most equitable health and well-being possible. Um, I think <clears throat> we've we've learnt over the years that quick and possibly sometimes superficial answers to some of the questions haven't haven't produced results, um, certainly not sustainable results. So so a, a, a deep and considered way of addressing some of these problems is, is, is something the NHS needs. Um, and we do that locally, regionally, nationally, and increasingly in doing it um, our work is made openly available so that we're deliberately contributing to growing the collective knowledge base about these matters. Um, the second reason why I think the NHS needs us um, is that we've, we exemplify a way of working as a team that, um, that has allowed analytical evaluation, critical thinking capability to, to come to the fore and to flourish. It's something to do with the way that we think about our purpose and the way we set about our work. It's something to do with the culture we've created. Um, but increasingly we're being looked at across from across the country as an as a as a beacon of light in terms of how analytical um, capability can be grown, maintained um, and put to good purpose. Um, and then the third thing which kind of comes from that is that uh, over the last few years, we've been asked more and more to play a lead role nationally, but particularly regionally in, in spreading uh, knowledge, skills, ways of thinking, such that some of the, some of the particular characteristics of what we do can be, can be more widely available. So, so we're at the heart of, um, of a new approach in the NHS. It's been adopted in the Midlands. It's now being adopted in other parts of the country as well, based on our experience. That, that places considerable faith in the idea that we have the skills and the expertise within the NHS to deal with some of our biggest challenges, but often it's, it's not achieving that because it isn't particularly well organized. And also often people operates in isolation. So we are at the heart of, of trying to demonstrate that a systematic networking of people working on analytical challenges, evaluation challenges, strategic development challenges, that by systematically networking those people and supporting them, there is a realistic opportunity that not only can they do the best job possible for their local places, but also we can start to extract genuine scale benefit for the region and for the country. 
So that's why the NHS needs us, because we're, we're at the heart of those things. Um, the second question I've been asked is, what, what would I want someone working for the strategy unit to experience about life in the strategy unit? Um, and I think there's a number of things that come to mind for that. The first is I would really hope that anyone working for us would get a very strong sense of the extent to which we're driven by public service values. We operate on what you might call a consultancy model, but we absolutely reject some of the aspects of commercial consultancy that don't, to our mind, fit with that public service model. So, for example, we never sell again something we've already done and been paid for by the NHS. We help our clients find the, the best value for money way of doing what they need to do. And, and if we're asked to do something, even if it's very lucrative, that we honestly can't see value in, in terms of likely benefit for the ultimate end user, the patients, the public, then we, then we won't do it. We'll, and we'll say why we won't do it. So I'd hope that values driven thing comes through strongly. I hope that anyone working for us would find a huge stimulation in the opportunity that we have to work on such a wide range of important questions across a whole range of settings, individual organisations, systems, regions, countries. I hope that anyone working for us would get a very strong sense of pride in the quality of the work we do and a determination not to dilute that. And the opportunity that presents to, to continually develop each of our own individual expertise as well as the opportunity to spark off each other. I think you would find it to be an extremely supportive environment, a great deal of mutual support amongst colleagues, constructive challenge where needed amongst colleagues, but all of it focused on the quality of the end result. I hope you'd find an openness to multiple perspectives. One of the things we laugh about in the strategy unit is this much quoted phrase, single version of the truth. There is no single version of the truth. There are multiple ways of understanding the world. And part of our job is to try to help people work through those and settle on the most useful ways to adopt if they're going to make progress in addressing particular problems. Um, and I, and but probably most important of all, I hope, I hope you'd find you're having fun at work and You've got the time and the opportunity to deploy your considerable skills and that you're not wasting your time on some of the um, some of the processes that perhaps parts of the NHS are too reliant on for how they progress from day to day. So that you're working on projects, using your skills, you're not spending your life sitting in process reporting meetings, for example. The third question is, what, what would I say are the criteria or the most, the characteristics that, that's, that people would need to have if they're going to really enjoy life working for the strategy? What do we, what do we look for? Uh, what do I think distinguishes people working in the team? So again, I can't pick one, but um, there's probably three or four. I, I think the first and possibly the most important is, a, is that anyone working in the strategy unit uh, needs to be genuinely motivated and deeply curious about health, healthcare, well-being, about the policy environment, about the way services work, about the different needs of different populations, uh, such that the kinds of questions we get asked really turn you on, to use that language. Because one of our critical 
beliefs in the strategy unit is if we can align individuals to projects that those individuals are genuinely interested in, then we're going to get a better result. And, and indeed, most of our, almost all of our allocation of people to work on projects starts with exploring whether they're interested in that project. The second thing, which I think does characterize many people in the team is, um, is a refusal to just accept the prevailing view and a determination to start afresh in understanding what's going on, to not just accept the group think. We do face enduring problems in health and social care. And if we're going to tackle them, we need to tackle the actual problem, not necessarily the one that people think they can see. So this whole issue of getting back to the heart of the question, getting deeply into understanding what's actually happening before we profess to know how to change it, those things are very important to us. Um, the third area is a, a, a real passion for using skills and expertise and developing those because we believe that skills and expertise are needed to do high quality, robust work that's going to have a realistic chance of addressing some of the enduring problems that the NHS faces. So a, a desire to want to do thorough pieces of work that really drill into issues and and challenge us in doing that that's a that's a really important area but also to not want to do that for its own sake to be really focused on the, the fundamental principle that whatever we do we have to be able to see an application for it and ideally be able to see it through to application um, and then the final one, I think, is a, is a desire to grow as an individual in, in many different ways. We're, we're not, we don't have just one linear idea about what growth is, but we place a great deal of emphasis on giving people opportunities to follow a developmental path of their choosing. Um, to take on new skills, to take on new types of work, if that's what they want to do. Um, and to enjoy the intellectual challenge of that. Um, so this whole thing about wanting to be, wanting to be pushed to keep having to think really hard about what's the best way to do something and working out how to do that and, and taking personal responsibility for that in the context of projects, that, that's a really fundamental thing for members of the strategy unit team. And then the last one, which kind of takes me back to something I said at the start, really. We, we do have a very strong sense of our public service values and purpose. And and, and I, I think people will enjoy the strategy unit the most uh, if, if that's also a motivation for them or for you. So in summary, I think um, we represent for people a real opportunity to deploy their skills and to grow their skills on some of the most important questions that the NHS faces and to do so in an environment that will create the space for them to do that and where their work has real potential to have impact. Um, and, I, and I hope that that appeals to you. When people choose us, we treat it, we treat that choice very seriously and we take very seriously our commitment to people who choose to come and work to us with us um, our commitment to them to help them go through that journey of development uh, and ultimately to, to get joy from work thanks very much